Hi, girls. Hi, Carla. Hi, Michelle. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good, good, good. It's raining in my tapan. Sorry? It's raining in my tapan. Oh, yeah. Well, is it raining hard? So, so. Yeah, okay. And yeah, Salvador? here, well, uh, where I am in San Salvador, it's been, it's been raining, but it hasn't been raining hard. It's only been raining like, um, it, you know, just like very light rain, very light rain, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, but, uh, but it's, is it very, very cold right now in with the bun? No, well, um, so, so. So so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what about Michelle? How are you, Michelle? I'm fine, teacher. Are you? Good. 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 I'm pretty good. Yeah. How was your day, Michelle? Um, it was a little busy because. I have um, a lot of homeworks um, from the university, so I I do that. I did. That. Oh, okay, okay. I see. Um, yeah. So you, what what are you studying at the university? Where? What What are you studying at the university? Um, I'm studying business administration. Oh, okay. And yes. what university are you studying at? Unicais. Oh, okay. In Santana. In Santana. Yes. Okay, okay. And how are the virtual classes going? Sorry? How are the virtual classes going? Is it, is it like, can you, is it okay doing the virtual classes or is it a little more difficult? I think it's more difficult because um, I think we learn um, less mm. because it's always like um, read that and do that. Mm -hmm. And when we go to the university, it's like the, they explain. Right. There's more explanation. Yes, but I think um, this helped us to to search in another in another way to to know how to do the things. Yeah, like it it makes you it, it obligates you to uh, to be able to do more investigation and use your tools, right? Yes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So, I mean, if you look at it, there's always a, a good side, a bright side for things, right? So that's, I guess, the bright side that, that you can always, you know, investigate a little bit more, right? And um, find out on your own, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Wow. All right. All the girls are connecting. Oh, wow. This is an all girls class. <laughs> Okay. Um, hi, Rebecca. Hi, Sonia. Hi, teacher. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. And you? Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, enjoying here the rainy weather. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. How about How about you, Rebecca? How are you? Very good teacher. Yeah. Not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, just uh, <laughs> hanging in there. <laughs> Do you like the weather? <laughs> um, today, I think, hasn't been too bad. Um, okay. I don't really, I'm not a fan of this weather, but, um, it, you know, it's not, I, I feel that right now at this time, it's not too cold. So, you know, mm -hmm. it's okay. It's just the problem is that when it's really, really cold, um, I, I don't like it because it's not good for like, like my body hurts all over. It's like I have all aches all over. So uh, that's why I don't like it. 
when it's really, really cold. But if it's, you know, if it's not too cold, then it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like I, I really, I really love, Yeah, I really love this well. Because yeah. I can stay in my, in my bed with a, a really comfortable cloth. <laughs> Well, if you, it, you know, it's good if you can stay in your bed, but when you can't yeah, you have things to do, it's not the best. It's true, it's true. Yeah. Because I, I have, uh, I went to Santana City today and mm -hmm. I spent all the time with my umbrella. Oh, so it's yeah. not good. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that part I don't like to be with the umbrella and all wet. Oh. That's not good. Yeah, your your shoes all the time are wet. Uh -huh. um, yeah, um, and your feet are cold. <laughs> you uh -huh. know, so, yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> know. No, no, no. Okay, well, girls. Um, so this is our second to last class together. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna be finished, and remember that tomorrow is the the deadline for the, um, uh, for the, what's it called? For the platform. But um, how, just like, um, you know, Elena uh, Mendes said in the, um, in, in the group, it would be best for you not to leave it until tomorrow because you don't know what can happen tomorrow. You know, all of a sudden, you know, something, an emergency happens or you, the internet connection doesn't work, blah, 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 blah. You know, there's a million things that could happen. So yes, it would be a better idea if you guys can finish today. So I was wondering how many of you still need to work on the platform? Really? All of you girls are finished? Yeah, I already In finished. My face, yes, teacher. Okay, so Rebecca, Sonia, Michelle, you're finished. Teacher, yeah. I only have problem in the final exam in the in one section. Mm -hmm. And what section is that? Is the section It, well, you're looking for the section, Sonia. What about Carla? I'm wondering about Carla. Uh, are you finished the platform, Carla? Yeah, Carla? Can you hear me? No, maybe she's having trouble. Oh. It's OK. All right. Carla, uh, are you finished the platform? No, teacher. No? Okay. Uh, where are you in the platform? I am in section 5.5. 5. Oh, good. Okay. So you're almost finished. Good. Okay. All right. Um, so try to do to finish today and the final exam today as well, if possible. Or, you know, you can leave a few sent a few more, um, you know, uh, sentence is or um, exercises to, for tomorrow, but like the most part, I would suggest you do it today because, like I said, anything could happen tomorrow. Okay. Uh, okay. Irania, hi, how are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. And you? Good, good. Just wondering, Irania, where are you in the in in the platform? Um. I think so finally today. You're gonna to finish today, okay. Good, 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 excellent. Okay, all right. And uh, Lennon, hi Lennon. Hi teacher. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Good, good, good. And um, Lennon, where are you in the, in the platform? I'm in the section five in the first knowledge check. In the first one, okay. Yeah. Do you think you could? I finish? have problems with that. <laughs> okay. Do you think you can finish the platform today? 
Mm, I don't think so. Maybe tomorrow early. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Try to finish at least section five today and leave the final exam for tomorrow. Well, okay. You know, I even I would probably suggest, you know what? I, let me change that. Do the final exam today, Peter. I would do the final exam today and then leave section five for tomorrow. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because the final exam is worth 40% of your final grade. So if for whatever reason you are not able to finish uh, section five, it, you still have at least 40% of your grade. But if you do not finish, um, sorry, if you finish at section five and you don't finish the final exam for whatever reason, you're gonna be, you're gonna have less than 60%, which obviously is not gonna give you a passing grade. So I would suggest finish the final exam today and then finish the section five tomorrow. Okay. Okay, that's okay. my suggestion, just because, you know, being smart with the, the numbers, uh, because the final exam is worth 40%, okay? Okay. Uh, okay, and uh, Marcella, how are you doing? Jessica, um, well, let me tell you, yesterday I did the platform, uh, not complete, but I tried to complete, but I couldn't. And yesterday, also yesterday, I couldn't connect connected or join the class, uh, but I try to complete today, tonight, and tomorrow before before the time is over, <laughs> the time over. Okay, where are you, Marcelo? Where in the platform are you? In actually, point five point, I don't know, but- um, Five point something. I had some troubles or issues with mid a uh, three point midterm <laughs> with the midterm with a uh, part b rewriting sentences mm -hmm. because um, all my answers always appear like uh wrong <laughs> okay okay all right i'll pray I'll, I'll make a deal with you marissa let's do something um Today, my idea is to finish uh, the information you will need for section five, okay? So by the end of the day, you should have enough information to finish everything in the platform. My suggestion, Marcella, is for you to do the, the same suggestion that I gave to Lennon. Do the final exam and then go back and do the, the, the um, like do the final exam today and then go back and do the um, the section five tomorrow. And tomorrow, I am going to be uh, giving you guys some time to ask me questions about the final exam and about any other section that you guys want. And then I will I will help you out if you still have problems with um, other sections or the mid the midterm. I will go ahead and help you. Okay. Okay. Uh I'll I'll try to complete the the whole platform tonight. Okay. Okay. If it's possible, that would be better, right? Um, but like I said, it, strategically speaking, I would suggest doing the 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 midterm. Sorry, the the final exam first. Get that out of the way. Make sure that you have that forty percent of your grade, and then finish up the section five. Because the section five, yes, it's important, but it it's the the percentage is much less than the final exam. Okay. okay? So, so that's my suggestion. Um, okay. All right, guys. So, um, Sonia, did you did you find the the exercise you were having a problem with in the final exam? Yes. Is the part C? The, mm -hmm. the right sentence. Part C. Okay. Yes. Let me just open it up. And in what number? Um, 
answer is bad. Okay, what number or all of it? I understand because I don't know what for the bear is here. Okay, but what what is what is the question, Sonia? What question do you have? Rewrite the sentence, use the correct form of the verb. The number one is for out the life before you leave. Mm -hmm. And in parenthesis is the have, is have the model to. have to. So you have, have to. to you have to use have to it, to complete that sentence to show obligation. It's like in, like when you say in Spanish, tú tienes que uh, apagar las luces antes de irte. Does that make sense? Sonia, does that make sense? Do you understand or, or, or it's not no. clear? No, I, I'm done. Sorry? Teacher, and, and this. I'm confused. I'm sorry. And this same section and me, number three is bad. I don't know. The answer I put. You're allowed to take your shoes. Okay, you're you're eliminating you're eliminating the word off. Eh, también intenté así y me sale mala. No, try it, try it. What did you write, Sonia? Your. Your. Mm -hmm. I don't know what form the word is here. Okay, but what did you write? Tell tell me exactly what you wrote. You have to turn off the light before you leave. Okay, remember it's not turn off, it's turn out. out. Yeah, you have to turn out the lights before you leave. Exactly. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank All you. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, any other questions? Uh, Irania, you, you said that you were confused? Yeah, and the, and the same section, the number three. Okay, what are you putting? My answer is, you're allowed to take your shoes. Okay, you're eliminating the word off. And it's, remember the, the verb is take off. Not just take, it's take off. Okay. Take off. Yeah. Okay. The verb is take off. Because okay. take is tomar, whereas take off mm -hmm. means uh, quitarse, which is a different verb. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Any other questions, girls? And Lenin? Lenin is uh, um, blessed among all the women. <laughs> My God. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, the only boy in the class right now. Actually, I saw what I saw a guy. I think it was Oscar. I saw him connect and then whoo, he dis he uh, disconnected. I don't know what happened. Okay, so um, any other questions? No. Well, in that case, uh, what we're going to do 
is we're going to practice. Um, yesterday, we learned a little bit about second conditionals, which are the same as unreal conditionals, right? So if you're, if you're wondering, um, you know, in the platform, they talk about unreal conditionals, it's the same thing. Because with second conditional, remember yesterday, I, ex I explained that there were uh, four types of conditionals, type, type zero, type one, type two, and type three. And today we're gonna to be looking at type two, or better said, we're gonna be working with type two because we saw it yesterday. So uh, what I want you to do, well, first of all, let me, let me um, remind you what, uh, what the second conditional looks like. And remember that we said that unre uh, so second conditionals um, are um, sentences that talk about things that are either impossible or highly unlikely. And because they're impossible or highly unlikely, these are unreal. They're not really, they're not situations that are, you know, that are happening. They're just, they're, they're hypothetical, let's say, let's call them hypothetical. Okay. Um, okay, so um, okay, I'm going to show you, I'm just going to show you one just to remind you what it looks like. Uh, for example, Um, let's see. Let's do this one. Let's see. Okay, if I had a superpower, I would fly. Okay, and this is actually true. I mean, this is what I would personally do. Okay, so if I had a superpower, personally, I would fly. Okay, now I also told you that. So basically, here we have two con two clauses. Okay. Uh, this so this is what we call the if clause this part right here okay and um, this is what we call the main clause okay so, um, so in the if clause, in the if clause, make sure that you're using if plus subject plus simple pass. Okay, so that's the structure that we're going to be using in the if clause. Okay, and in the main clause. Uh, you're using subject plus would, could, or might plus base form. So that's the structure here that we're going to be using. Okay. And we also mentioned that um, to connect these two things together, uh, we use a comma, right? You can, use, you can see the comma right here, okay? All right, so that's, um, that's how we use the, the second conditional. Now, 
we also said that it's so if you so if you notice we have if the subject here is I, the simple past is had. Okay, then we have the comma, and then we have the subject I. We use would here, and then past the base form is fly. Remember to always use the base form. We're not going to use the simple past here. So it's not looking at your, you can't say I would uh, flew. No, it's I would fly. It's not past participle, so you don't say I would flown. No, it's, it's I would fly. Always after the models, we always, 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 always use a, a base form of the verb. Now, we also learned, I also told you yesterday that um, it's also possible to switch it around. So it's possible to put this part first and this part second. So I could say, I would fly if I had super powers. Oops, sorry. So I would fly if I had superpowers. So that's the other way that I would I can write it. Okay. In this case, um, we use. If you can see, we use the main clause first, and in the other one, we use the if the if clause over right here. And if you notice in this one, there is no comma. Why is there no comma? The reason is because a, the, word, the, the thing that is connecting these two sentences together is the word if, okay? In this one, the word if is at the beginning. Therefore, we, it's not connecting the two. And that's why we need the, the comma to connect. But if the word if is in the middle, that's the connector. Okay, does that make sense? Yes, is that clear for everybody? Hi guys, can you hear me? Das? Sorry, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Okay. Woo. All right. I started getting a word there. Okay. All right. So you can hear me. Okay. Good. Um, so if this is clear for everybody. Yeah, it's clear. Yeah. Okay. And remember that when you are making a question, it's the same thing, except that uh, we just have to make a reverse, right? Okay. For example, if this would question would be like this. Um, you're gonna make a question, it would look like this. It would be like, what is power would you have if you had superpowers. Right? Or it could be, or maybe, maybe not what power, but um, let me make it easier for you. What would you do Let me make, yeah, this will be easier for you. What would you do if you had superpowers? Okay, so if you notice, I'm still using the same um, the same structure of I'm still using the um, the main clause, right? We're just changing around the structure because instead of saying would Sorry, um, 
instead of saying you would do, we have would you do because we're going to start, we're going to invert the auxiliary, right? Okay. And over here, we're going to have the if clause, right? The same. It's going to be the same, right? And with the connector of the if in the middle, right? Okay. And the only thing that now changes with this one is that we're going to be using a question word because usually in questions we use question words, not all the time, but but most of the time we use question words. Okay. And if this if you could all you can in questions, you can also do the same thing, change it around. And in that case, it would look like this. If you're going to be changing the position, it would look like this. It would be um, if you had super powers, comma, which I'm going to put them over here, what would you do? Okay. And so the same thing applies, right? Um, we have the, the main clause over here. We have the if clause over here. Okay. Uh, we continue to use um, the question word, okay, what, okay, and if you notice here, we connect with a comma. Sounds good, everybody? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay, any questions? No? Okay. All right, in the group, I sent a picture. You guys probably saw the picture, right? Yes? Everybody saw the pictures in the group that I sent? Yes. Okay, good. So what you're gonna do right now, I'm gonna get you to work in pairs. Um, you're all gonna have one partner and you're gonna decide who's gonna be student A and who's gonna be student B. And you're gonna, you're gonna be asking each other the questions in the, um, in the, uh, what's it called? In the worksheet, okay? So uh, so it says here, for example, to give you an example, uh, if somebody asks, what would you do if you had superpowers? Um, I could lift a car, for example. Or if I had superpowers, I, um, I might, be invisible example something like that okay so you can answer different things this is only speaking i don't want you guys to be writing anything okay so i'm going to give you about 10 minutes to work on that all right so i'm going to stop presenting here and i'm going to put you into breakout rooms uh, for you to to work together oh somebody already hmm. is very curious. I am I'm very curious to see that when I assign for breakout rooms, there's always people that leave. <laughs> I think that they're they might be shy to participate or something. Okay. All right. So anyways, um so here right now I'm going to assign you to your to your breakout rooms. Um
Now, like I said, I'm going to give you 10 minutes to work on that. Okay. All right, here we go. Um, say student A. It's for discussion, I think so. Yes. Okay. And the number one say, what will you do if you call travel back in time? Okay. ¿Qué haría si podía viajar? ¿Viajar y qué? ¿Qué significa ir back in time? ¿O regresar? Regresar en el tiempo. En el tiempo. Hi, Rebeca. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I was mad. Nice. <laughs> Girls, do you have any questions? Yes. Okay, what question do you have? Uh, the number one. Okay, what about number one? Number one says, what will you do if you fall travel back in the time? Mm -hmm. um, so you would say, if I could travel I back in time, I would blah, 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 right? I won't, um, I don't know. <laughs> what would you do? I don't know. For example, if I could travel back in time, I would, um, I would visit um, the the garden, the gardens in Babylon. No. You know, you know the garden, the gardens of, in Babylon. No. Have you ever heard los los jardines colgantes de Babilonia? No, I don't have idea. You've never heard of that? They were they used to be part of the the seven wonders of the old of the ancient world and uh they disappeared there were these beautiful gardens you know and they disappeared so if i could travel if i if i could travel back in time i would go visit those gardens mm -hmm. yeah Okay, so any any answer you don't have to think too much about it just you know tell go ahead and and talk about what you think. Okay. 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 All right. Okay. So just continue. Pretend I'm not here. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So number two. What would you do if 
you saw a ghost. I don't know who is a uh, saw a ghost. Ver un fantasma. Ver un fantasma. Gritar. I don't know if if I if, if I saw a ghost, I could scream <laughs> and run. I don't know. If I saw a, a ghost, maybe a, I will run. In <laughs> <laughs> whatever place. Yes. <laughs> without without a, a direction. <laughs> um, okay, next number three. What will you do? If you were the richest person alive, oh. what is the meaning? Huh? What is the meaning? Ah, la persona con más dinero. <laughs> Rica, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Hi girls, do you have any questions? Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I said uh, an example and I don't know if it's correct. Uh, can you correct me please? The example was, if I had the opportunity to change an, a specific situation in my life, mm -hmm. I would like to be better, uh, I would like to be better daughter. I would like to be, okay. A better daughter. Or I would be a better daughter. Mm -hmm. okay. instead, of, instead of, yeah, it's I, okay. It's okay to say okay. I would like, but but get into the habit of saying would and then another verb that is not like, because we get used to the word would like, but it's actually just would in any any verb. I would, I would like to be a better daughter. Uh -huh. Or I would okay. be a better daughter. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Um, probably not. <laughs> you sure? No. Okay. Well, continue talking. Imagine I'm not okay. here. Okay. If I had a, the opportunity to win the lottery, I would like to buy a big house <laughs> and okay. several cars and help poor people and treat animals and obviously in other, other people in other countries. Okay. If I had two or more daughters, probably I could I could be crazy <laughs> yeah exactly that's that's the idea oh you're, you're, <laughs> I'm alone. Left. what happened i don't know <laughs> oh my goodness oh, if okay you, you oh. are agree uh, you can join um, me in another group <laughs> yeah, no, well, it's okay. I, I will, I will stay here with you. Um, she probably just had some problems with, um, with some internet connection, maybe. Yes. 
Yeah. Um, okay, let's see what happens. If I was if I was a an animal, I would like I'd, I'd like to be a dog. A dog, okay, yeah, very good. Okay, hi Michelle, welcome back. Hi, my, my internet have, have some problems, so I don't know why, but. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. All right, I'm gonna give you two more minutes to finish off and then I'll see you got you girls back in the main room. Okay, thank you. Okay, all right. I was saying to Jessica, uh, another example, and if I in my case maybe uh, Israel Israel mm -hmm. Interesting. if I could travel anywhere I would like to go to different countries in Europe principally Italy. Also, I would like to go to Japan for no mm -hmm. different person who create anime. <laughs> okay. If I could travel anywhere, I go, I, I like travel to Canada or Japan or mm -hmm. China. Oh, I do. China have coronavirus. <laughs> um, are you finished? Not the chair. <laughs> okay. All right. But because of time, girls, I'm going to have to um, cut you off. So I'll give you like one more minute to finish off, and then I'll see you in the main room. Okay. Okay. All right. Continue working. Okay. Um, the number seven. What will you do if you call fly like a bird? Si pudiéramos volar como un pájaro. Uh -huh. well, if I could fly like a bear, I think that could be easy for uh, for travel to different places. <laughs> I've never need a, a, a car or a bus. I could go to my job or my or my house. All right, girls, excellent. So you guys, you girls had a little chance there to be able to talk about what you would do, you know, those imaginary situations. Some of them were really crazy. And, um, you know, that's just the idea also to just have fun sometimes is uh, being able to talk a little bit about what we would do, you know, what we could do, you know, imagine things a little different.
Now, today, what we're going to do is finish off um, the last topic. Um, in the last few minutes that we have class, we're going to finish the last topic of the platform. So let me give you, I'm going to share right now the whiteboard again. Okay. So right now I'm going to talk about, um, let me see, let me see. Okay, let's talk about right now. And giving, oops, okay, sorry about that, giving, um, so um, let's say suggestions, suggest suggestions and opinions about the past. Okay, so let's say your friend tells you about something that happened to them, um, you know, during the day, and they ask you about what you think what they should have done. Right? You they they ask you about. Um, your opinion, if what they did was a good thing, if you agree with what they did, or if you would give another suggestion, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, so how do, you, how do you give your suggestion and your opinion about things of the past? Not, you're not gonna give a suggestion about the present or about the future. This is about something that already happened in the past, okay? So let's... Um, that's right over here. Basically, what we do here is we use um, two, two um, models, okay? We have already talked about this in the past that it, it, when we're talking about models, we use models for many, many, many different things, right? Uh, for example, uh, we know that should, we use should um, to give an advice, okay? All right? And also we use, we can also use wood, okay? So basically, um, okay, so we're gonna use here, um, okay, so this is an advice or a suggestion, it's the same thing, right? An advice or a suggestion, it's the same thing. We're gonna just call it suggestion here, okay? So yeah, suggestion. Um, so for suggestions, like I said before, we use, we use should, okay? If we want to give an advice, we use, or sorry, if we want to give an opinion, we use would, okay? So would is for opinion. All right? Okay. So, but what we're talking about here is not about um, any kind of opinion we're talking or any kind of advice. We're talking specifically an opinion or an advice about the past. So to make these, these models the past, because if I just use should, like for example, you should go to the doctor, that means right now, that's my suggestion about something in the present. But so how do I make it the past? Well, to make it the past, we use should, yeah. Ah. Um, okay, there we go. Okay. So we use should for what? Sorry. Okay. It's not, oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. Okay. We use should plus have. Okay. So the word have is what's going to make it the past, okay? The same thing with would, okay? What's gonna make, what's gonna show me that it's in the past is using the word have. But not just have, what we do is we use have plus the past participle, okay? This is going to show me that we're talking about the past, okay? So the same thing here with would, we use would plus the past participle, and that's going to make it, okay, that's going to make the, okay, all right, 
And then of course you're going to use the 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 rest of the of the the, 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 the sentence, right? So to give you some examples, uh, for example, um, let's say what what do you think about um, what do you think about a okay I I let's say I I I, I could say I quit my job today because um my my co-worker was um got me mad okay so i so i quit my job today because my co-worker made me mad and so the person is going to give you a suggestion right um you they could say for example you let me change that you and you can also use okay with the should you can also use the negative right um so you could say you shouldn't have a you shouldn't have um quit you shouldn't have quit your job you shouldn't have quit your job Um, then we can say, for example, uh, uh, I would have um, talked, sorry, talked to my boss about my coworker okay All right so in this one um as i was saying here uh we're going to be using like i said a, you can use the affirmative or the negative in this case you notice that we use we're using Sorry. So we're using shouldn't have, right? This is the negative. And then past participle of quit is quit. Okay. And then over here we have would, would have, and the past participle of talk is talk. All right. Does that make sense for everybody? Sounds good? Sounds good, girls, or do you need, do you have any questions that I can help you with? No? Sounds good? Okay. All right, so just like I said, um, just remember that. Uh, remember that uh, with, um, with, um, with uh sorry um in the we can use the, the the negative or the affirmative right so we can say should or shouldn't or would or wouldn't and then all we use use have and always use um the past participle it, the the have would always you always use have independent of, of the subject okay even if it's she or he or it okay we always use um we always use the, the, the word have, not has, okay? All right, so that will be all for today. We're gonna to practice a little bit of this tomorrow, but I just wanted you to have that information so you guys can um, finish it off, if possibly, the, the, the platform today, okay? All right, so that's gonna be all for today, girls. Um, it's great seeing you, and um, hopefully everything goes well and you are able to finish the most part of the platform today and tomorrow we'll just do the, the touch-ups, okay? Questions?
Okay. All right. Well, girls, that's it. I will see you then tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Tomorrow, uh, Jessica. Bye, night, night, night. teacher. Thank you. Bye, Sonia. Bye, Irania. Bye, Michelle. Bye. Bye.